How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're talking about horrific insect behaviour. From flesh-eating ants to bot flies that'll lay larvae under your skin. Join us as we take a look at horrific insect behaviour that'll make your skin crawl. There are many different species of termites, but a tropical termite has evolved to explode when threatened. When the termite ages, they start to develop blue bands around their bodies. These bands are filled with chemicals secreted by the termite that are copper rich and extremely toxic when exposed. These aging workers are used as a weapon against enemy termites, and when they explode, the blue chemicals inside them immobilize the enemy termites, so that the other younger, healthier termites can kill the paralyzed invaders. These things are a nasty breed of fly that have parasitic larvae that burrow into the skin and gestate. Bot flies look a bit like bumblebees, but they are way more disgusting. A mother bot fly will literally inject her eggs into a mosquito that's flying past mid-flight. Once the eggs are in the mosquito, they'll get into the bloodstream of whatever animal the mosquito feeds on next and hatch. And yes, there are a species of bot fly larvae that will survive if injected into a human. The newly hatched larvae will either burrow under the skin or grow in the guts of the host until they're fully formed. They're also covered in spikes, so when they're fully formed and ready to go out into the world, it's not a problem for them to rip through skin. A known remedy for bot fly larvae infestation is to cover the entrance to the wound with nail polish so as to suffocate the larvae. Then, as they try to escape the wound, you can pull them out with tweezers. <coughs> oh, I think I just vomited in my mouth a little. Elomerus decimarticulatus is a species of ant that lives in the Amazon. The ants work together as a team to build a trap for other jungle inhabitants using twigs and leaves, and then one ant will stay behind and wait for another insect to stumble into the trapdoor. Once the insect does, the ant lying in wait will jump out and latch onto one of the insect's legs. Once its grip is secure, it releases a pheromone signaling to the other ants that the insect has been captured. When the other ants arrive, they begin to rip the insect limb from limb and take their newly caught food back to the nest. Army ants detect their prey by movement. When they find a creature that looks suitable to eat, they start to swarm. Army ants range from 3 to 12 millimeters in size, which isn't really that big, but when they start to come out in swarms of hundreds, they can strip an animal down to its bones. They have paralyzing agents in their mandibles, so after enough ants bite the prey, it stops being able to move. Then they begin to feast and leave nothing but the bones. If an army ant hill is disturbed, up to 100,000 ants or more can spew forth, covering any incapacitated human or animal. Studies have shown that a swarm of army ants can strip a frog flesh from bone in a matter of hours. This, however, is where myth and reality start to blur. Stories tell of babies or injured adults left near army ant nests dying not of bites but of asphyxiation. The ants swarm the body so badly that they enter any orifice they can, crawling down the throats of victims, entering the lungs, where they begin shredding the soft connective tissue, choking them to death. Mormon crickets are found in the southwest US. These crickets travel in swarms and can destroy entire crops. While that can be devastating to the farmers, the way the crickets interact with each other is more disturbing. Because these swarms are so large, often the crickets at the front will get to eat the delicious crops. But by the time all the crickets in the back get there, all the food has been eaten and there's nothing left. So the crickets at the back of the swarm turn to the closest other food source, each other. The swarms have to keep moving to keep eating, but also to outrun the possibility of being cannibalized. There are several types of assassin bug, but there is one species in Malaysia that is particularly gruesome. The A. patax is a quick and violent killer and kills its prey by stabbing them with a long beak. After the stabbing, the prey is injected with enzymes that start to break down its body, so that its insides become liquefied and gooey. Then the assassin bug can easily slurp up the flesh inside. Mm -mm. Apotax is particularly horrifying as it secretes a glue that it sticks onto the corpses of its prey. It then proceeds to stick the corpses onto its own back, so that it walks around covered in dead bodies. Japanese giant hornets grow to be about 5cm in length, but they can reach speeds of up to 40km an hour. 
The hornets are more aggressive and territorial than other species of hornet, and can chase an intruder for up to 95 kilometers. Their stinger is about 6 centimeters long and contains a poison that can dissolve human flesh, and even attack the central nervous system if it's not treated. If provoked, these giant winged creatures can inject potent venom that can cause anaphylactic shock, cardiac arrest, and multiple organ failure. One researcher described being stung. He said it's like a hot nail being hammered into his leg. If the victim is allergic to the venom, it often means certain death. In Japan, the death toll from the Asian giant hornet is around 30 to 40 people per year, while in the Shaanxi province in China, more than 1,500 people are injured each year by these flying death dispensers. The female praying mantis, around 20% of the time, will devour her male partner after mating with him. She usually starts with the head and goes from there, and this meal will last her until well after the breeding season. Studies have shown that this process not only gives her sustenance, but will cause the female to produce up to three times as many eggs. Bullet ants are found in rainforests in South and Central America. They're called bullet ants because their sting feels like you've been shot, and the intense pain can last for up to 24 hours, earning them their name Hormiga Vienta Cuatro, the 24-hour ant. Their stings can temporarily paralyze humans if you get stung enough times. The sting from these tiny death peddlers is reported to be one of the most potent in the insect kingdom. They rank the highest on the Schmidt Sting Pain Index. Victims have described the sting as waves of all-consuming pain that throb and ache for up to 24 hours. The Satiri Maui people of Brazil use these ants to initiate young members of the tribe. As a test of strength and resilience, the young boys must wear a makeshift glove that has hundreds of bullet ants woven in, stinger forward. They must wear the glove for more than five minutes at a time, often getting stung dozens of times. Their arms will go completely numb as they absorb the ant venom. The boys will often slip into a seizure-like state for days on end. Just one initiation session is traumatic enough, but the young tribesmen will have to undergo the ceremony 20 times over the course of months or years. Africanized honeybees or killer bees are a man-made bee species. They were bred to be a more productive type of bee by breeding two different species of bees from Africa and Europe. These bees are extremely aggressive and territorial, and while people tried to keep them contained, naturally they escaped and started rogue colonies. Studies have shown that Africanized honeybees react to disturbances up to 10 times faster than other species. They are aggressive enough to chase humans and other animals up to a half a kilometer away, stinging them relentlessly. As soon as something passes by their hive, they immediately go into attack mode and will chase any intruder until the threat is neutralized. They're less deadly than regular bees as their sting is not as toxic, but as they are so territorial, they can be far more dangerous and have been known to kill hundreds of people. These insectoid grim reapers can take down horses, dogs, and have killed up to a thousand humans. Once stung, victims can experience rapid swelling around the eyes, lips, and throat. Cramping often sets in as the victim has trouble breathing, after which they may suffer from shock or seizure. Hello, ham fam! Now, we just want to get a quick idea of what you're enjoying on our channel and what you want to see more of. There should be a poll appearing above my head right about now. Please cast your vote on the topics you'd love to see more on. Your input will help us create the best possible channel we can. And to while away a few seconds while you cast your vote, here's a montage of me doing some sexy dancing. Before you click away, if you enjoyed this topic, why not click that link right there to another one of our insect videos? It's bound to make your skin crawl just like this one did. And that's it for me, I'll see you all next time.